Right, okay guys, so what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you how we're going to get this wall nice and level, right? For training purposes only, we're going to treat this wall, as I said, like a block wall, right? And that's a plasterboard wall, we're going to treat it as a block wall. So if it's a block wall, you have to put a base coat plaster up on it first, all right? Base coat plaster goes in through from 6 up to 25mm in sections, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do dot screens. Before I start, I will say to you, this is the method we use at Able Skills, okay? There's more than one way to skin the cat, so there's more than different ways you can actually get the wall level, all right, okay? So I'm not saying to you this is the only way, I'm saying to you this is the simplest way, the easiest way for when you start, all right? Because you will find later on, you're going to find your own little way to do things, all right? But this is a good way to start, so you know what we're doing, okay? So yet again, I know it's plasterboard, but it's going to treat it as like a block wall, right? So as you understand that, okay? Plaster we're going to be using today is like a fiddle bonding, which is up to go on to low suction backgrounds. First of all, you see we've got a bead. We always apply the bead. Different ways, we apply beads. If you go on to skimming, we apply this bead with a couple of little nails or a couple of little spaces to hold it close, right? If you go on to a block wall, you cannot do that. You will have to stick this up with your plaster. Right, reason we have these little slits in there, see the slits, right, the slits for plaster to bleed through. This is going to be two stages, right? First stage is I'm going to show you how to do this, and after break, the reason number two, right? So this will be number one session, we do number two afterwards, okay? I'll show you how we do this. First of all, what we're going to be doing here, we can take a little bit of plaster off the side of right here. We're going to apply the plaster on the edge, because that is where you bead is going to be sitting, right? You see where I've got it? All the way down, all the way down. So it's just hanging over just a little bit like so. Like so, okay? Behold that for me, please. Thank you very much. Second, we're now we're going to apply our bead. Put your bead up like so. Once your bead's onto the edge, you're going to push it in. You see what's happening now. The plaster is now bleeding through, okay? Because that's what we're looking for. Once that's done with our trowel, make sure we come through like this, take off the excess all the way over. Thank you, all right, all the way down. Once that's done, next thing we're gonna be doing is with a level. We've got to check with a level, we check on two sides. We check on that side first, check the bubble, make sure it's nice and level. Next, we're gonna come on this side, Check on that side to make sure it's level, okay? If it's not level, we might have to bring it out or push it in, okay? But in this case, I've just checked it, it's nice and level, okay? Second, you notice I've got little crosses. You put your first dot about eye height and the second one down the height as follows, right? Yet again, take a little bit off the tip, like so. Second, like so, right? Thank you. Yeah, again, dots we've been using, they're just pieces of 5mm ply. That's all we've been using here, okay? Keep it upright, just push it in just a little bit so it's around about 5mm off. For training purposes, we're doing it 5mm. I know in the real world it'd be up to 10mm, right? So am I. But just remember this is only for training. Next, what we're going to do then, take off the excess. going to do now, any idea? Yeah. Level, exactly right. You need spirit level, get the level on it as so, once more, come through onto the top and onto your bottom, make sure it's nice and level, okay? Now we know that's going to be level from the top to the bottom, or level, or bead is level as well, okay? How we tell it's for level from there to there, because it's such a really short distance, you can check we get a normal level, but it's almost there now, okay? Once we've done that, we're happy with it. We're gonna apply our little screens, right? These little dots are called little datums, right? So some of you might have heard the saying called the datum line. This is what this is, this is what this creates, okay? Second, thank you. Take a little bit of plaster on like so. You're only gonna go from your bottom dot to your top dot. From down to down. 
from now to there. Can someone just give me just a little bit more to move off the board? 